all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you are all doing very, very, very well. So today, we are going to, of course, be reading through an Ekinkar Soul Adventure e-booklet by Harold Klemp. Today, I thought it would be pertinent if we read the book called Hugh, your key to spiritual living. Sacred sound, ancient mantra. Because every single book seems to end in telling us to sing Hugh, so I think we need to like dive into what Hugh really is all about. And this should be the e-booklet that does that. So, without further ado, I'm gonna roll that intro and then we're gonna get right into the cringe. Sing Hugh, know that this is one of the most sacred names for God. Love and with reverence and look for the light, listen for the sound. You may or may not have anything tonight, I'd be very surprised if you did just to show you how to practice it and do it on your own. Give you the spiritual insight that other people wish they had, but it doesn't come overnight. Develop this like any other skill. So, begin with you. once again, this is the book that we are reading here. As you see, it is an Ekinkar soul adventure. Phew! And it says, Your Key to Spiritual Living, which apparently all these books are. And this one is Sacred Sound, Ancient Mantra. And then the quote on the cover here by, of course, Harold Klepp is, You is a carrier of love between God and soul. So, um, Let's dive into the book and find out more about that. The Gift of Hugh, an ex-soul adventure. All adventures are spiritual experiences that touch us at the very core of our being. And then we have our friend the eagle here. I don't know why we are cutting the grass at the beginning of November, so I apologize for the background noise. Please bear with me. I am really just a stay-at-home mom with a broken laptop and a microphone reading through some cult books and speaking out about cults on the interwebs. I am not at all a famous YouTuber. So, you are soul, an eternal, unique spark of God. As soul, you have the God knowledge within you. Again, with the God knowledge, I, we don't have much of a definition, of course. Stories, inspiration, spiritual exercises. We have this key here that actually says, you on it. Discover the key to spiritual living. How clever. Experience, how you. The sound behind all sounds. I think a lot of uh, music producers would need to be aware of that. I don't think they were aware that all of their sounds had a hue behind them. And apparently we need to experience how it can fill you with peace, relight your dreams, bring a more loving attitude, help you in challenging situations, and attune you to a higher awareness. Wait, is that it? The word Ekinkar means co-worker with God. It is the path of spiritual freedom. Ek means life force, God current, or Holy Spirit. In other words, it's their God again. What is you? Great, that's what we came here to find out. Have you ever reached out to the universe for love, answers, or a sign? Chanting, 
or singing Hugh is like taking a spiritual deep breath and connecting with the life force itself. Healing, life-affirming, purifying, and creative, Hugh is a carrier of love between God and soul. And you, soul, exist because God loves you. Jesus loves me, this I know. Hugh is an ancient universal name for God. I don't think anyone else is aware of that other than the people in Ekinkar, but okay. It can be sung out loud or silently at work or at home, anytime you feel a need to tune in to a higher point of view. Oh yeah, silently at work or at home. Sure, I'm uh, singing it silently right now. Might try experimenting with it when you face a challenging situation or want to open yourself to a more loving attitude. Basically, when you're vulnerable and we can prey on you and do faith manipulation. Singing Hue each day, which is in blue for some reason, the coloring of this book reminds me of something from On Passive can lead to a deeper understanding of yourself and why things happen the way they do. A song will do that, apparently. It opens you to a greater awareness. Anyone can work with the hue, regardless of age, background, or religion. Because we like to prey on all religions here at Ekinkar, it serves all. Hue is the sound behind all sounds, woven into the language of life. Sing it from your heart. you will find infinite ways to benefit from its blessings. As who? I will be done. That doesn't sound good. It sounds like a death threat. A student of Eck named Heidi had a four-year-old nephew. Ah, here's the story. We always have a story in these. <laughs> you barely got to see him because they lived in different parts of the country. Heidi received news that the little boy had swallowed something and was in a coma. Lord, that got dark quick. The doctors did all they could, but the child remained comatose for a second day. The family was distraught. Wanting to do something, Heidi talked to her inner spiritual guide, the Mahanta. Inwardly, I'm going to invite the parents and my nephew to sing you with me on the inner planes if they want to, she said. Discover more about the Mahanta! The inner planes are the dream worlds and other realms of higher awareness. So Heidi sat down in contemplation and began to sing Hugh. She was careful to observe the spiritual law and not make a directed prayer like, please God make this child well, or make this child wake up. Have you received help from a higher power? We never tell God what to do. Instead, we listen with an open heart and say, may the blessings be, or thy will be done. But that second one isn't as important, apparently, because it's not in blue. Hers was a true spiritual prayer. Shortly after this, so many miles away, her nephew suddenly opened his eyes and saw his nurse. Are you Heidi? He asked. He and his parents had joined the Ekist on the inner planes to sing the hue, and the child remembered the experience. He was awake and he was well. Wait a minute, you're telling me that while he was in a coma, he met his parents at the inner planes to sing hue and remembers this. That's the story here. Oh. The song of Hugh attunes you to a higher center of vibration. It's a tuning fork, perfectly matched to your highest potential of becoming a co-worker with God. Yeah, well, one time I hit my head and I was in a coma and someone came to me and they said, listen, this Ekinkar stuff is bullshit. You can can fill you with peace, relight your dreams, and awaken you to the glorious higher truths. What are these damn truths, okay? Reaching out to the universe for love and wisdom? Try the spiritual exercises of Ek. Sing you and the love of God will find you. Weird feather thingy. They have that in all the books too. Expect a gift. Sing you for a few moments. And then imagine that you are saying yes to all that life brings you today. With all your heart and being. Like a child waking to a new day of unknown joys. Expect a gift in every situation. That sounds entitled as fuck. Fuck yeah. 
during the day in all you encounter, know that you have even more love to give than is needed. And now all the important things are in red, the color of blood. Red is me, the color of awesome things, like hearts and roses and Mars. But most importantly, blood, 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 blood. There's some feet. Try a spiritual exercise. The sound of soul. Hue is the sound behind all sounds. Woven into the language of life. It is the wind in the leaves. Falling rain. Thunder of jets. Singing of birds. The awful rumble of a tornado. Well, that's not positive. Its sound is heard in laughter. Weeping. The din of city traffic, ocean waves, and the quiet rippling of a mountain stream. It is a word people anywhere can use to address the originator of life? The fuck is that? What, is that the new name for Eckmaster now? In time, you may come to know it as the audible whisper of God's love stirring in your very atoms. A proof, okay, that soul exists because God loves it. I don't think this counts as science, but whatever. You will prepare you to accept the full love of God in this lifetime. Heaven forbid it be in a future lifetime. So sing you a love song to God every day. Begin today. Join our team today. Sing you and look and listen for the love that returns to you. This is a law of the universe. Love returns love. That's some bullshit. How to sing you. Yay, a tutorial. Your eyes can be open or closed. Take a few deep breaths to relax. Then begin to sing you. Pronounce like the word hue in a long drawn out sound. Hue, ooh, ooh, ooh. Take another breath and sing you again. You can continue for up to 20 minutes. Sing you with a feeling of love and it will gradually open your heart to God. Good thing I have these steps here. Fuck yeah! Experience this sound of hue. Hue. Sacred sound, ancient mantra, a self-esteem repair. Right, I'm listening. Did you know you are made of the light and love of God? Here is how one woman discovered her spiritual body. Did she fap? Yes, I had women do that too. Long before I became familiar with Ekinkar, I was teaching a jewelry making class and struck up a conversation with one of my students. We found we had a lot in common. Over the course of the class, we became friends. One day, we began to talk about meditation. My friend seemed very interested in the topic. Do you meditate? She asked. I told her I did. I meditate too, she replied. After a moment, she asked. Do you ever sing Hugh? I'd never heard of singing Hugh before and asked her what she meant. Is Harold Klemp writing this story because it's a little worrisome to me that he's talking about somebody else got him involved. You is an ancient love song to God, she said. Do you have any problems with your life? Hey bro, do you have any problems with your life? Because I have this song that will solve everything for you. All you have to do is sing you. It's an ancient love song to God. It will solve all of your problems. <laughs> Yes, I do, I replied. How strange. Nobody else has any problems with their lives. Yeah. I've always had a problem with low self-esteem. I'd explain why you run a cult now, just saying. Well, you can say a prayer, she said. You can ask for God's help in healing your low self-esteem, and then sing you, and then poof, just like that, and it will be all be cured. Yeah. Do you have a problem you'd like God to help with? That night... I decided to try singing Hugh. I closed my eyes and asked God to help me find a way to heal my low self-esteem. Then, I repeatedly sang the word Hugh. And just like that, all of a sudden I woke up the next morning and I was full of self-esteem. So much so I had such a big ego, I went and began running the heck and car cult. Suddenly, I saw a ball of blue light in my mind's eye. Is that, that why it's blue? Then, inwardly, a man with glasses appeared. Harold Clamp? So this isn't written by him? Did you call me? He asked. Surprised, I replied. I don't know. Did I? I was a little confused and didn't know what to make of this experience. Yeah, some nerd in glasses shows up all like, did you call me after I'm asking for God? I'd be confused too. Like God wouldn't give himself perfect 2020 vision. Fuck yeah! Well, yes, he said. 
You sang who? I guess I did call you then, I said. Just like that, huh? Is there a problem I can help you with? He asked. I told him about my difficulty with low self-esteem and asked him if there was something he could suggest. This stranger showed up with glasses and I was like, you know what? I did call you and my self-esteem sucks, bruh. You know what could cure that? In response, he showed me my spiritual body. Bow, chick, bow, wow. It was made of beautiful light. What are we talking about here? Is it like your aura? All people are the light of God, he said. You are the light of God, and God loves you. Jesus loves me, this I know. And then just like that, like, is this it here? Then just like that, he was like, oh, look at pretty colors. Yay, look like the northern lights. I'm the light of God. I'm the light of God, and God loves me, I repeated as I pondered his words. Yep, no, apparently. That's exactly what happened. Jesus loves me. Yes, he answered. After a few moments, he asked, Will there be anything else? You like fries with that? No, I guess that's it. I said, Well then, he continued, May the blessings be. Yeah, oh, blessed be. <laughs> May the blessings be to you too. Thank you. Then he was gone. <laughs> You can look for the blue light when you chant you! His words rang inside me. I am made of the light of God, and God loves me. Jesus loves me. I had actually seen my light-filled spiritual body. After that experience, my problem with self-esteem began to fade. Soon, it was only a distant memory, and something that I retold in this book. Oh, yeah. Years later, I discovered the teachings of Eckenkart. Wait, what? And immediately recognized Sir Harold Clem. I Really? That's what it is? It was him that- oh, okay. The Mahanta, the living Eckmaster of our times. He was the man with glasses who came to me in a ball of blue light all those years ago. There he was. He had come to help me with the problem of low self-esteem long before I consciously knew of the Eckmasters. Well, who's writing this part of the book if it's not him, though? I was reminded again of what he had said to me that night. All people are the light of God. What a wonderful confirmation of God's love. Jesus loves me. Like, okay, some dude with glasses just shows up, shines a flashlight with some colors in your face, tells you that you're the light of God, and then that's it. You're sold. Fuck yeah. You can get to the most secret part of yourself through contemplation, through the spiritual exercises of Ek, through the sacred sound of you. Contemplation is a conversation with the most secret, most genuine, and most mysterious part of yourself. It's called the G-Spot. Yeah. We don't know who, who said this, but here's a heart. Answers to your questions about you. Okay, well, you don't really know what they are yet, as I have not asked them, but go ahead and answer them already. Can you explain why having a feeling of love is part of the hue exercise? That you manipulate yourself further into believing in this bullshit? What or whom am I to love? Not Harold Clemp. Love opens you to guidance and peace, to healing of body, mind, and spirit, and to the highest form of creativity. So, whom do you love? God, the creator, divine intelligence, the holy spirit, the ek, the life force, the all in all, the one. Or just love your family, pets, your neighbor as yourself, the flowers you watered today. Like, whatever. Love is love, and you are that. What is helping your heart today? You is the sound of soul. How did this answer any of my goddamn questions? How long will it take for me to see results from using the Hue song? Spiritual exercise is like a physical exercise and that all muscles need time to respond. Success comes with diligence. A second that you are fully indoctrinated into our cult, in other words. If you do an exercise routine for a couple of weeks, you may be surprised at your new spiritual outlook. The same kind of discipline applies to both physical and spiritual exercises. What positive interchange do you wish for? The sole purpose of the spiritual exercises of Ek is to open a conduit or channel 
between you and the Holy Spirit, the audible life stream. The whole reason why I have a channel and streams is to warn you not to get indoctrinated into cults such as this one. But even use faith manipulation, no matter what faith you are. The origin of this wave is the heart of God. The moment you begin to sing you and look for truth in this particular way, changes of a positive nature awaken within you. In other words, please join our cult or else you don't feel shit. Meet Harold Clamp, a spiritual teacher who can help you on your path of spiritual self-discovery. Harold Clemp is a spiritual leader of Ekankar, the Mahanta, the living Ekmaster. His role is to awaken the knowledge and love for the divine things already in your heart. As the inner and outer master, he gives spiritual help via talks and writings in the dream state and in the spiritual worlds. Now please tell me that you're sleeping if you fell for this. Here he is. The, uh, uh, Hugh song is a, a purifier. It will uplift and strengthen you in wisdom and awareness i read it like he would say it heck membership join our team today advanced spiritual living courses which is the whole reason why we actually want you to join our cult so that you pay us money and do these advanced spiritual living courses go higher further deeper on your path of spiritual self-discovery what will you experience? This ever-expanding adventure can bring you personal transformation from the moment you begin. This includes monthly self-discovery courses with advanced spiritual techniques for private study, opportunities to explore the courses in small group discussion classes, quarterly letter and updates from a God-realized teacher with timely perspectives, whatever the fuck that means, spiritual initiations, profound steps of enlightenment, Again, whatever the fuck that means. A community of like-hearted people who respect spiritual freedom and love truth. Yeah, like-hearted, not light-hearted. No, not alike. Like-hearted. It just goes to show that there is a cult group mentality here and an us versus them mentality, which all cults have. Opportunities for further spiritual training and service. Start your ec- adventure today and then of course we have the website the membership services number and then it says ekid card the path of spiritual freedom down here at the bottom it reads illustrations by bruce fuller marianne kenyon ed parkinson joan ross am rubio christy walker the terms ekid car ek ek mahanta and soul travel among others are trademarks of ekid car copyright 2021 Second car, 210228. And that be the end of the book. Yeah. Well, the book says that it's by Harold Clemp, but there was a whole story that was told there that claimed that Harold Clemp came to them. So I'm not really sure who told that story. It does not say in the book anywhere. Or, like, I can't find it anywhere. If you know, please do let me know. But that was Hugh. Sacred Sound, Ancient Mantra. Apparently by Harold Clemp. So once again, I am covering Ekinkar as a cult right now. We are going through all of their ebooks. I have been looking into Harold Kleb as well as the person that actually created this cult, which we'll get into very shortly. Please do subscribe if you would like some more coverage on Ekinkar. Please do give the video a like. Subscribe again if you're new here. I do lots of content on cults, pseudoscience multi-level marketing commercial cults and then sometimes we just have fun and i like to do other things if that's okay with you think about joining our fabulous amazing members all of the beautiful people do and you don't want to be ugly like harold clemp who is a cult leader that does do faith manipulation and indoctrinates people into this weird cult that we are deep diving so again please do subscribe if you want to continue to deep dive it with us let me know down below what you guys think of this ebook. Did you learn anything from it? Did you learn anything more about Hugh? I didn't really. I feel like it's the same things as all the other books. Or we get a couple stories that don't really mean much. And then it tells us to join these classes, which of course we're also going to get into once we are done getting through the ebooks, which there are only a few of left. Don't you worry. And then I will cover the cult more and we'll talk about the classes. And then we'll cover some more of the books because <laughs> there's a lot of them. No matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, and I will see you all very, very soon with another one. Mwah. Bye!
way. And remember, you doesn't solve shit. And it especially won't get you out of this cult. Jesus loves me. Red is me, the color of awesome things, like hearts and roses and Mars. Most importantly, blood, 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 blood. 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 Fuck yeah! Blood.